Fantastic. Well, we're still on, so that's good news. Uh, battery's almost dead, but uh, we're still on. So this is a whole farm thing, and um, it's pretty cool. I mean, not only are they growing stuff and showing it off, but uh, with pizzazz. And this is a bee area, and you can see a ton of bees. I can see a ton of bees. If you've got a high res, if you downloaded the high res version of this, you may be able to see a bunch of bees too. A lot of bee hives. But don't forget to download that high res version. So we're walking along the river still. I, this is a Thursday at like one o'clock and there's a lot of people here. I like that. The birds are incredible along this route. Saw some new kinds of duck in the in the lake. And we're getting some nice cross-country trails here. Hey, some elevation. <laughs> All right. I hope it's the right way. Mm. That's the way to dolphins. Did I miss one? I got one there. But I don't see the next one. Well, this is the tricky part. I know we're supposed to be along the river. All right, so what you do here is you pull out your digital map. So tune in, see if I find myself. And if so, then we'll have more videos. Thanks, don't forget to subscribe. All right, so we're still following the river. But I wanted to turn on because I know I've been comparing Lake Geneva, Wisconsin with Lake Geneva, Switzerland, and it's hardly a comparison other than the name. Although there are some similarities, which is what I'm trying to point out. Uh, they're both lakes. <laughs> but uh, so now we're inland. And I got to tell you, just the strangest feeling, like I do a lot of hiking. And one of the things that I really enjoy is learning the topology and just literally feet on the ground. I mean, that's why I'm doing this. Feet on the ground so I can learn a culture. And uh, so this, this part of the trail just feels like the Midwest of the United States. Trees might be a little taller, but the ground cover, the shrubs, the, the floor of the forest is extremely similar to the Midwest. And uh, the soil is like, that's what I'm feeling under my feet, this, this, this type of soil. So you might think I'm making it up, and most likely I am. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I do have a lot of experience walking a lot of distances in both areas, and I do it, you know, all the time. So uh, it's just interesting when similarities occur and I really enjoy that we're almost we're almost at the end of the Swiss Alpine panorama trail couple more days of trailing and we'll be done stay with me and then I'll pick up another trail and we'll get done another portion of Switzerland sneak preview all right, talk to you later.